Hello everyone, welcome back to Trade Master Stock Prediction channel and uh, this is Chris here and today we're going to look at one small cap and also a penny stock segment called as Udaipur Cement Works. So this stock is won't be familiar to most people because uh, uh, these guys are operating only in the northern side of India and even in the northern side of India I'm not very sure whether most people know about this stock and it belongs to the cement uh, sector company and uh, it's actually a penny stock as well and if you look at the market capitalization it's somewhere around 1750 crores so you can classify it in between penny stock to small cap industry okay so let's get into the technical chart so this is a daily time frame chart i'm showing over here and uh, this particular stock came into our radar uh, yesterday so it uh, gave a good uh, potential breakout yesterday and uh, it got shortlisted on our screener as well and uh, over here this was a candle of yesterday that is on uh, thursday 3rd of august this was a candle and you can see over here the stock rose up almost uh, close to 14 percentage and once again close to 10 to 12 percentage rise uh, today as well and uh, it's a strong uh, movement in this particular stock and uh, before we uh, get into why the stock moved this much on a daily time frame we need to plot uh, some of the technical patterns that is formed in this particular script okay so over here i see a symmetric triangle pattern that is uh, formed in a daily time frame and as you can see over here this is a good uh, textbook symmetric triangle pattern that is formed in udaipur cement works and yesterday we have a clear cut breakout and the target for this was uh, the target for this symmetric triangle pattern was uh, 32 it came very close to uh, touching the target but it uh, fell short of almost by uh, 0 0.2 uh, points basically so we can consider that as the target is done so this is not the pattern what we are going to trade with because uh, i'm gonna uh, you know look into this stock as an investment opportunity uh, investment in the sense i'm not talking about a long-term investment i'm just talking about a short-term investment of a period of maybe six to eight months so this stock i believe has the potential to give me almost 60 to 70 percentage returns just within a short span of six to eight months okay so this was the pattern that is formed on a daily time frame but we're not going to look at this particular pattern let me switch over to weekly okay so this is a weekly uh, time frame chart and let me delete this so this is a weekly time frame chart of uh, udaipur cement works and you can see over here this particular zone is going to act as a strong level of uh, support so almost uh, 19 to 20 level was acting as a strong level of support over here the stock took support and it uh, reversed back once again the stock took support and it's reversed back once again the stock over here took support reversed back once again we have a you know a bullish engulfing candle that is formed over here and it reversed back we have a hammer pattern as well and also a bullish angle engulfing pattern and the stock is reversing over here right so this particular zone is going to mark as a strong level of support but this is uh, just on the support basis and if we draw a pattern like this we have a descending triangle pattern so this is one of the advanced uh, technical patterns that we teach in our trade masters technical analysis course and uh, over here this particular pattern is called as the descending triangle pattern and as you can see the stock in this week gave returns of almost close to 27 percentage that was the rise in this particular stock just within this week so within a week period Udaipur cement rose up by almost 27 percentage and as i shown in the earlier part of this video this particular zone was acting as a symmetric triangle pattern and uh, both of these patterns got broken out at the same time okay so we are going to trade using this weekly time frame pattern so it's going to be a type of an investment short-term investment uh, script and uh, the current market price is at 31 rupees per share so i'm a little bit uh, you know uh, hesitant to enter the current market price just wait till the stock comes down till 30 or 28 that is going to be a good level of buying and uh, my expectation uh, out of this uh, stock is in case uh, in case the stock comes down to retest over here it is going to be a best buying zone of 26 but i'm not 100 percent certain whether the stock is, will come down to retest zone i'm not 100 percent certain it may come down it may not come down so what i'm going to do over here is i'm going to keep on adding it in tips because my target is also uh, you know well above the, on the higher side right so my entry point is going to be buying dips till 26 that is going to be my best buying zone for udaipur uh, cement sorry so for udaipur cements and uh, coming to my targets my first target is going to be 37 over here my first target is going to be 37 over here and my second target is going to be and my second target is going to be around uh, 44 
So these are the two targets. So these are the two targets of what I'm freezing for the for cement works for a period of eight months holding. Okay. So my now my uh, no, uh, entry price is determined. My target is targets are determined and coming to the stop loss. So I'm prepared to hold with the stop loss anywhere below 20, 20 rupees. So that is going to be a good and safe level of stop loss. And uh, in case if you're uh, you know, planning to keep a stop loss around 20 level, I repeat, it's going to be a candle close stop loss. So the candle has to close below 20 rupees on a weekly time frame. So this is a weekly time frame that we are trading over here. The stock has to close below 20 rupees on a weekly time frame for the stop loss to be taken out. Right. So let's calculate the target. So let's uh, say from the best buying zone of uh, 26, if I'm calculating, I'm looking at the returns of almost uh, 70 percentage. Right, so 70 percentage is the return on investment what I'm expecting from Udaipur cement within a period of six to eight months. And even in case if you're calculating it from the current market price, let's say, let's uh, just assume that the stock is not coming down and it is going up like this. And uh, even from that perspective, we will be looking at a comfortable returns of almost 40 percentage. So minimum returns is going to be 40 percentage and the maximum returns is going to be 70 and above. Okay, so that is the return on investment what I'm expecting out of the poor cement works. And if you're calculating it using the risk reward, let me move it to the right hand side. If you're calculating the returns based on the risk reward, let's say this is going to be my stop loss and this is going to be my target. So I'm looking at a risk reward of almost 1 is to 2.7. Let me move it over here. Just give me a minute. So I'm looking at a risk reward of almost 1 is to 2.7. So for a risk of 1 point, my reward is going to be 2.7 points. So basically over here, we're going to keep a stop loss of almost 6 to 7 points. And my target is going to be almost 17 to 18 points. So even in case if you're calculating the risk reward from here, it's going to be somewhere around 1 is to 1. So basically we don't take a trade that is going to give a risk reward of 1 is to 1 because it's not truthful. So I believe a minimum risk reward of 1 is to 5 should be maintained in order to have, you know, a better outcome from the market. So just keep on adding it, in, adding it in dips. So when the risk reward becomes 1 is to 1.5 and above, it's going to be, uh, you know, well uh, deserving uh, trade. That is what I would say. So over here, my risk reward is going to be 1 is to 2.7, basically approximately 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 3. Right. So for risk of 1 point, what is going to be 3 points? So yeah, that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint on Udaipur Cement. I hope this video was useful. And once again, just a quick disclaimer, this is a penny stock and I advise uh, to use proper money management, uh, money management while investing in any penny stocks. Do not risk more than what you can swallow. Okay, so in case, let's say uh, on a general stock, if you're going to invest one lakh, then for penny stocks, you need to invest only 20 to 30 percentage of that. So let's say if you're planning on investing one lakh in any particular stock, then coming to penny stocks, you need to invest only 20,000 or 30,000. That's a maximum risk you should take while investing in penny stock because it can go from 0 to 100 in a short span of time and also from 100 to 0 just within a short span of time. So it's really risky and it's really volatile as well. So that is why I take utmost caution while trading in penny stocks. All right then. So that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint on Oday Post Cement. I hope this video was useful and I hope you learned some informative things from this video. And if you like my analysis, please do click on the like button. And if you want to support our channel, please do consider subscribing to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next video with another exciting stock prediction. Till then, it's bye from Chris. Take care. Bye-bye and thank you for watching.